Welcome to the Westside Community Schools video series on personalized learning. In 2014, District 66 collaborated with its stakeholders to develop a strategic plan to ensure academic excellence and serve the unique needs of all learners. The pillars of that plan are our three core strategies that include providing quality instruction by integrating literacy skills, creative and critical thinking, and authentic problem solving. By supporting personalized learning with opportunities for students and staff to discover strengths through choice while fostering community and global partnerships. And by enhancing all educational experiences by integrating new and existing technologies in a meaningful way. This video series focuses in on the second core value, personalized learning for students and staff. And the subsequent videos will detail the five elements Westside Community Schools has identified as its central tenets to the personalization of learning. Those elements are knowing your students, incorporating voice and choice, flexibility with regards to grouping, learning spaces, and mindsets, making data-informed decisions, and through the integration of digital tools. Now, there are those in education who would contend that anything short of a Montessori school model is not truly personalization. But in District 66, we recognize all efforts made to incorporate these elements as a positive shift away from the traditional legacy model of instruction to a more personalized approach, which ultimately enhances student learning. Westside Community Schools understands that change is a process, and therefore we are committed to practicing what we preach by implementing this portion of our strategic plan at a pace that allows both teachers and students to effectively acclimate to these new practices and learning experiences. Furthermore, we acknowledge that as a public school with state standards and state testing, that there are certain areas of academic content and competency that we simply see as load-bearing walls around which we will design and build our personalization model. Therefore, we encourage our educators to start small by first personalizing an activity, assignment, or lesson before scaling up to an entire unit, semester, or school year. For a teacher starting out, the process of personalization might go as follows. The teacher should consider all pre-existing lesson plans and activities scheduled to be incorporated in an upcoming unit. Next, that teacher should identify one piece of that unit to personalize. The decision as to which piece is often according to where rich differentiation and or student choice might be possible. In other words, a teacher should ask, where am I already using one or more personalized elements and how might layering in an additional element enhance student learning? As an educator's familiarity and comfort with these elements and practices improve, the ways in which he or she personalizes his or her classroom will evolve, which empowers teachers with the autonomy to take creative license in their classroom and lesson design according to his or her own personal interpretation of these driving elements. For those curious to learn more about these elements and to see their application in a classroom setting, this series provides video content specific to each element. Thank you for learning about personalization with me today. To close, we've decided to include a collection of student feedback of their experiences in a personalized classroom setting to provide you with a set of testimonials. Personalized. So personalized. Um, personalized. Personalized learning as kind of a way for students to kind of teach themselves and like guide themselves through learning. It is a way of learning where the student gets to direct how they do the work, you know, when they want to do it, how they want to do it. And then it's our own responsibility to get the certain things done in our own time. And being able to learn at your own pace and choose when you do things. You, you want to be able to, to have your own responsibility and your own freedom. And so they go at their own pace, which makes it a little easier for them to manage the classwork. It's like they have the teacher help, but it's not like them holding their hand and walking them step by step. The student has like an opportunity to learn for themselves and actually go out and explore and get the education that they need. <laughs> Well, I got to experience what it's like as a teacher, you know, planning things, you know, um, what to teach the class, what to do each day for the class, and I got, I got a little taste of what that kind of feels like. It uh, made me feel kind of like a teacher. And the point of school and like teaching is not to just give kids a certain curriculum and this is what you need to know in life and everything. It's to make them and watch them grow. And through personalized learning, you can actually grow and learn. And it's taking responsibility of your learning, not just memorizing something for a test maybe that might be coming. Once I found out that it was personalized learning, I made myself a calendar using Word where I set all the due dates on Word and then all the assignments I had marked on the calendar. And then I printed. I ended up printing that calendar out and crossing out all the assignments that I had done on that due date. Well, it's kind of like we set up our goals and what we wanted to learn for the day for ourselves, and that's kind of part of like personalized learning, where you have a goal that you're going to do for yourself. So we set a goal, and then you start working by yourself at your own pace, learning everything you need to. And if you need to, you can reread something, re go back, and like learn something that you missed because it's personalized learning. So there's no set rules or anything of what you need to do. So you would get done what you need to get done or what you set for yourself to get done 
and um, then you would write what you learned. Again, I'm not one of the, the fast people, and I do have a hard time get, getting things done by myself, but, but this actual unit like pushed me to, to make sure that I, I got all my stuff done. It just it felt, it felt different, it felt freer than the other unit, even though they were the same length of time. When you get a job and like a career and everything, that it's all going to be personalized learning. I don't think there's going to be much of like a teacher I mean, like, there's going to be your boss, but he's not going to tell you everything to do step by step and everything. You're just going to have something and you're going to need to get it done. So I feel like this is kind of, yeah, I feel like personalized learning is it after this. So I don't know if it was like the, I don't know, a school thing. They should have started personalized learning earlier or what, because some people, I might be like, this might take them a long while to get adjusted to this. So if that could set them back in the future, maybe.